Good morning students, uh, my name is Stanley, I am from the Falls Bay College, um, we are basically based in Westlake. We are making a video for students to use and for you guys to use as a reference when you are busy preparing and you are getting ready for your exams, your test and just getting to study. Today we are going to use uh, Engineering Science N1 as a sample. We are going to just go through the modules of the textbook and just to do a foundation and look at the modules that you can see there we've got uh, the first module is dynamics second one is statics third one is energy work and power and the chapter four is heat um, what i'm going to look at basically here is the first module which is dynamics what is dynamics dynamics is basically the first introductory module that you get on engineering science um, the major point page that you need to know from this book actually just looking at the book it's Tommy Ferreira and it's engineering science by future managers so you need to make sure that you're using the same exact book that we're using so that you do not have problems with your studies okay when we look at page one there is um, the quantities where you get to learn about different quantities you get to see that Mass, its quantity symbol is M and the unit is kilogram. Force is F and then the unit is Newton and the symbol is N. And it goes on all the way down. This is a major fundamental page that from now all the way till engineering science and five, you're going to be using these basics. Okay, let's make sure that you are aware of that and you know those formulas and their standard equations. And now the first interesting um, topic is scalars and vectors. Um, if you ask yourself what a scalar is and what a vector is, it's very simple. A scalar is a quantity that just con contains um, just quantities uh, that only has magnitude. That is a scalar. And then vector, it has magnitude and direction. So if you get to think about it in your practical everyday life, a scalar is like mass or time because when you speak of time you just have the quantity only you just say it's quarter past three you don't say it's quarter past three east or south or west there's no direction but when you speak of a vector it's the one that has both magnitude and direction and if i give you an example of a vector we are looking at things like um, force because when you speak of force there must always be direction when you speak of acceleration there must always be direction Either it's a positive or a negative, and if it's positive, it can either be north, if it's negative, it can be south, or if it's positive or negative, depending on your, ex or your other exits, can be east or west. That's very critical to know. That is on page three. Okay, moving on, um, it gets interesting on page four and five, and these are major exercises that I feel that you should do as students, ex ex especially example 1.1 and 1.2. Um, vectors are explored more in terms of addition and subtraction. It just has magnitude only. Example, time. You say it's 2 o'clock. And you don't say positive or negative or up or down. And then when we look at a vector, we look at magnitude and direction example we look at acceleration and when you look at an example of acceleration you're gonna say three meters per second squared um, accelerate this means that it's positive if it's a deceleration it's gonna be negative and as we go on and we go on when you open page um, Let's see, when you get to open up on page, on page, page 8, we get to speak, okay, we speak about vector addition on page 6, where this is what is important. A vector, because it is magnitude and direction, if you are adding these two forces, and this is probably 10 newton, and this is 25 newton, to add these two, you will make an assumption that anything going that way is positive and anything going that way is negative. So in this case, it's going to be positive 10 Newton and that 25 is going that way, minus 25 Newton and you're going to get an answer of minus 20, minus 15 
newtons. This minus is because of the board mass addition and subtraction because 25 is greater than 10 and the symbol that it takes is a negative symbol and that is your vector. All right, and cut. Take me down. Is it? 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 Is it